good morning and welcome back you lovely bunch thanks for tuning in again hope you're all doing good it is absolutely blooming freezing and really windy whoa do you know when it looks really nice outside and you get outside and it's just not as nice as it looked outside from the inside anyway we're out here so that's the important thing and today it is time to give you guys whoa i thought it was going to blow over i took some advice from someone in the comments look i hooked my bar see so I can't fall over. So thank you guys, you just saved me a rear mech hanger and, and enabled me to do this video as well. Feeling slightly perkier today, still not 100%, but well enough to get out and do this bike review. I mean, sorry if you guys are sick of this bike. It's been featuring quite a lot on the channel lately, but today we are riding the bike fully stock. I've not changed one thing. So the only things I've added a bar bag. I have added a water bottle cage and a water bottle and a saddle bag, not changed the stem. I've not set up the tires tubeless. I'm even running the stock tires. I want to give you guys like a proper stock review. So no sponsored parts on this bike yet. This is like totally as you buy it off the shelf from Marin. One thing I have to remember is I now have a dropper post. So that's much better on the descents. Um, but also I have to remember that I've got a lot slippier tires on and I'm not running tubeless. So need to be a little bit more careful, especially on the rocky bits. Right, let's go. just stopped here to quickly take some nice shots of the bike so when i'm talking to you i have like a reference point but before doing that we need to take it up this really really steep trail i mean this is like hard work on my bike with 650 wheels on would be hella fun coming down with a dropper post and 650s but let's see how the stock setup handles this very very rocky gnarly climb it's a gravel bike it'll be fine right let's go Right, totally not what I'm going to be doing, but I discovered that semi-slick tyres are really good for six skids. The Marin Headlands 2 is good for six skids. And as you can see, the brakes work amazingly well. Honestly, this bike has stopped. I'm knackered now. <laughs> Little bit of gravel bobbing and some skids and I'm done in. It's such a fun bike. And I, honestly, like you, you don't have to change a bike when you buy it. Like Lots of people love upgrading their bikes and like I love upgrading my bikes. Straight out of the box, Marin Headlands is a really good bike. So much fun to ride. Yes, I am sponsored by Marin, but you guys see like where I ride and what I ride. You know, I haven't made any changes to this. So one of the things for me that I definitely, definitely would change is the stem reach. Like it does come with a 70 mil stem, which is like quite short and stubby. So then if the stem gets longer as you size up but the 56 that i've got has a 70 mil stem i personally like would run a longer stem so i changed that i mean it does give you a real good like nimble handling feel but for me on longer rides i need something slightly longer and then the saddle for me is slightly too comfortable i don't know if that's a thing but um it's, it's really soft and i prefer like a slightly harder feeling saddle but they are two things you do pretty much to any new bike you know in order to get the bike to fit properly you'd want to put the right length stem on so you have the correct reach and then a saddle is very personal so the gear on the bike you've got an 11 42 on the rear and then a 42 tooth up the front and that gives you like a one one ratio going up a hill i think most people would actually prefer a 40 tooth rather than a 42 i don't know what do you guys reckon 42 at the front with a 42 at the rear as the biggest or would you prefer to lose two teeth on the front and have a 40 up the front so it gives you a little bit nicer ratio to climb really steep climbs i mean that's that's what i would go for personally but honestly for the price point you get like you know a grx group set barred the crank set but then you get the fsa gossamer pro which is still a really good crank set you do get the lower level like shimano rotors but again they're not like bad you know i've been like 
skidding around and doing stoppies and stuff and like no issues at all. Anyway, it's a bit nippy, so I'm gonna continue this on the bike. I did email Marin and ask her if they've made any changes to this frame to my last one that I have, like just the frame set only. So they've made one change. Um, where the through axle used to screw in on the fork, it used to be like an insert and this could be prone to falling out sometimes. It was a little bit annoying. I did actually just glue mine in. But now it's like integrated and it's all like one piece. So like, that's more of a like quality of life change, you know? It's not gonna change the handling of the bike or anything like that, but it's just like a nice little touch that shows like they've listened to things that people would want it changed. I don't think I'd change anything on this frame, you know? There's not really a lot you can change. I think they've really, really got it right. I think they've got it right with the components, they've got it right with the group set. Gearing could be slightly easier. And the very fact they haven't made a lot of changes to the frame since that first model, it shows that, well, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I've ridden this bike for years. Um, <laughs> so this isn't just a lot. I've been riding this bike for 10 minutes and here are my thoughts. You know, I think Marin really got it right with this frame. You know, I think for the price, when you buy the complete model, it's a really, really competitive price. I think straight out the box, this bike is ready for a whole load of fun and a load of adventures. Upgrading the wheels, all these upgrades. I mean, they're optional extras. You know what the sad part is? That this, our stock, doesn't feel vastly different to my carbon wheeled like posh version. I'm genuinely surprised by how well this rises stock. So it feels like it's been ages since I just built up a bike straight out of the box without making any upgrades to it and just ridden it. For the price of this bike, you know, carbon frame, full carbon fork, GRX like gears, brakes, FSA Gossamer like Pro crank set, good set of like aluminium own brand like gravel bars, and a dropper post that's wired up to a shifter. I mean, that's kind of cool. Comes with a tubeless ready wheel set, tubeless ready tires, not a setup tubeless. You would need to like invest a little bit if you did want to go tubeless. So for the price point, I think it's a damn good deal. But all that said, I am looking forward to making this one my own. It's gonna look so sick when I start switching the parts over. It's gonna look better with a longer stem and 650s on. This bike has made me realize two things. I cannot wait to have a bike set up with 650s on and a dropper post. But I'm also looking forward to riding like a 700c gravel bike. Like I, I've ridden my 650 so much, I've kind of forgotten how fast like a 700c wheel is in comparison when you're on like longer road base sections. Oh, it's so much fun. Let me know the changes you'd make to your bike. If money were no object down below, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.